There are three ways to add an indicator. To open an indicator, left click on the indicators option in the toolbar. Select the indicator and customize if desired. To add an indicator, right click on the chart area, then select indicators in the menu. Select the indicator desired, then customize appearance if desired. Lastly, open the properties box in the top right corner then select the Indicators tab. Then select the type of indicator you wish to use. As you can see, we offer the ability to add custom indicators to the charting. I will select the custom indicator, Alligator. To change the properties of an indicator, left click on the indicator to highlight it. Then right click for the menu, then select the Properties option. Customize the appearance and data of the indicator if desired. To remove an indicator, left click to highlight it, then right click for the menu, then select Remove. You can also adjust properties or remove them from the properties window. Left click on the properties option in the toolbar, then select properties at the bottom. You can remove or adjust all indicators on the chart. Left click on the indicator, then select remove. To adjust properties, left click on the indicator, then select properties. To add volume, or remove volume, select indicators, then select the volume option. Volume will appear in a new chart area at the bottom. You can also add or remove volume by right clicking on the chart area, then selecting indicators, then selecting volume. You can also draw directly on the chart. Select one of the options in the left toolbar free flow line, trend line, horizontal line, or vertical line. To draw a trend line, left click, then place the line in the desired position on the chart. To adjust properties, double left click to bring up the properties tab box. To add text, a call out, an arrow, left click, and then left click on the chart location. To remove a drawing, left click, then select delete. Another way to remove a drawing tool is by left clicking one time then selecting the X on the drawing toolbar. To save this profile, right click, then select profile from the menu. Then scroll down, select save profile. Enter or select the title of your profile. In the top left corner, your chart profile title will now appear. This concludes our video. Please proceed to the next tutorial.